Hey, right. So, uh, here's what happened. Um, last time we were playing Valhalla, we... Past tense were... Because... Something happened to the... <laughs> the stream and it was, um... <clears throat> not... The game was not the right size. Uh, the dimensions must have changed when I went from the window screen to the full screen. So that kind of sucked. That was, uh, dare I say, slightly unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, but now we should be okay-ish. Well, let me see if I can adjust it to, to be the right size. Because it still looks a little too... Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's too big right here. So if I just readjust it ever so slightly, I'm sure we can get past all these problems. I will start from the beginning. Better? <laughs> um, and what else was going on? Right, so I liked, like, everything about Valhalla. It's just a really cool looking game. So I'm gonna try my best to to do it some justice, you know. Um, I'll be so when they say BTC certified, I wonder if they mean actual bitcoins. That's really funny. That in this futuristic society we've switched over to bitcoins full time. I mean, at the same time, that makes a lot of sense, because Bitcoins are, like, a kind of future. Hmm. Um, right. So, I had issues last time where I was not sure how I could do some chat interaction with, uh, without having a second monitor. So I'm just going to pull up my, my laptop. And put it on a thingy. Yeah. Give me one sec. You gotta wonder what's it take to just kinda get the ball rolling on some of these things sometimes, but it's just like, okay, we're here. This is what's going on right now. Anyway, at least I can see kinda what's going on. Whoops, sorry about that. That's gonna need a charge in like an hour, so let's see what we can get till then. Anyway, Anna says, Psst. Hey, over here. Ooh! How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's f starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. 
In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya! Hmm? Oh. <sighs> just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. Or Prime Era? Hard to say. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 18, oh, $800 by then. And make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. This is me, this is the boss. That's, and that's Jill, right? And you hold to unlock. Welcome, Jill. This is your Windows phone. A lot of choices on, on songs. The music in this game is great. So the Augmented Eye is there is like a journal, it's like a publication, you know. Mass emigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg in Heels returns next year. And here's my life back up. I'm gonna save in the second block because that the first block was where I screwed up. So who was that letter from? Four, I guess is the cat, maybe? Nobody. Let's go to work. We got zero funds. Time to time to make some money. Good evening. So I did this guy's voice a little dumb last time. Let me try him a little bit more, I don't know, capable. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face skill? When you let people call you Jules. He's got this like little eyebrow raise. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno, she went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, New Ring 4 left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. So yeah, 4 is the cat. Great name for a cat. And there's, and there are all the beers, beer cans around my apartment, and... Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Gill. When done, press the mix button, and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it, and that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Yo, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. So maybe it doesn't stand for Bitcoin, but that's what that generally means, right? Then there should be no problem. <sighs> 
Gil wants either a Sugar Rush or a Piano Man, so let's go by the... Let's just do the Piano Man. It's two Aldehyde, three Bronson Extract, five Powder Delta, and then five Flanergide, three Karmatrine. Karmatrine is their alcohol. All on the rocks and mixed. Here, happy? Yes, very. I stand corrected. Now, let's get working. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional Karmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional Karmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Karmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink, but it doesn't change the taste, but the... It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am. Yeah. Hey guys! Oh, but Huh? Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have to work. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be cr uh, crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. Seems she's... She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? Well, you spent the whole weekend in Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey you, give me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. He wants a beer, Look, he looks like quite the big guy though. So, he wants a big beer, that's the translation of that. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What the fuck? One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All mixed. Oh, no. Why? Do I need twice as much karma trying? One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I guess. Damn it. Here you go. Sorry, wrong voice. 
Yeah, that's this one's pretty good. This one's good, pretty good, damn it. In fact, nice job. Um, thanks, I guess. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey number three. It's true. Second Jersey couldn't have been much better either. Huh. What kind of work do you do, Mr... You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. See, I'm doing the wrong voice, I can tell. He's a he's a news guy, right? So it's like, you gotta give him a little J. Jonah Jameson, right? <clears throat> Let me see if I can do this. Nothing gets published with there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey! People love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars, and houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. So the kids are also getting plastic surgery. That's the implication of that. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. What an ass. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get descented, descended. The people get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh. I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No. Wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column, um, um, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've, I've even heard him... Blech. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he, when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here and asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. 
that he looked like a fat child with a really small face. No. Oh, wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. And you give it to him big. Two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. Like my penis. Jeez. <laughs> what about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So, tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much! How was that? Nobody important. Hey! I heard that! Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You could think of it as a small hole in hell, rather than a, rather a hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So. Celebrities. Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks are uh bleh. Those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer, to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah. I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong. But even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. It sounds hypocritical coming from you. It, it, even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for these little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play that game of... Um. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. 
Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Let's talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories. And then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. Personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. It, anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, um, <clears throat> well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one? Do you? Ah yes, yes. You know what? Third time's the charm. Give me a beer. All right. Third time's the charm. For what? Anyway, better get him that beer. Gonna get this guy ex absolutely smacked on this like big beer. Let's see. There you go. One beer. Ears open, I don't pass out. Cheers! Enjoy. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. Is she British? Do I have to change this accent? These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? I just wanted to let you know how, you lu how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Ooh. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no! They have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kinds of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. And these losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. MORE CLICKS! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? 
At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. Never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have THUMBS! Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh. You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... <clears throat> How do I do his voice? Pick up punch. Fast. Alright. It's either nothing or everything, huh? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten. One, two. Let me get you blastered, boy. Oh. What the? All aged and mixed. Ah, oh, heck. That was, that was what I screwed up. Here. Hmm, you can actually do it then. Hmm, <clears throat> this crack house is a bar. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? Why, why am I making him like, kind of, like, breathy? I don't know, just... I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at, at all, mister. Oh, sorry, it's Mr... What the hell do you care? The payment registry says... Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougall. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an accident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No? Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Ah, uh, they got me. Hey Jill, where did you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance our, uh, your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet, aka Char, Asnable. The boy. The woman who fended off ma mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement in title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? 
heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed riders with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a her there's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. I'll show you a pile driver, big boy. You go. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people like lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality would, will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, it's quite the random thought to suddenly just have. Uh, to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. I wanna get you the flip out of here, so let's let's give you a biggie. One, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 18. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of me, myself that's lack, that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising... Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway though, uh, through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um... Have you tried rescuing a puppy? 
You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Huh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. Sorry. Alright. That's more like it. Okay, I need to take a, a second to catch my breath. What do you guys think so far? Pretty good, huh? I really am enjoying this dialogue. I don't know. It's just like the game's aesthetic is super cool. It's now safe to keep playing. At least I didn't get locked up this time. What does that mean? You can remove them by right-clicking their title. Wait, this one. I really like making playlists in like, they don't have to be the same genre, just like, having interesting transitions. This one's kind of... Club. Sexy. I like it. Um, I, I want to sample a little bit of everything here. This is the popular one. Commencing Simulation was this one. I dig this. Bit upbeat. The gaze that invited. Ooh. That's your that's your sex music right there. I figure that's fine. Okay then, back in action. See, my guess is that robots in this world don't have a robot -y voice, right? So... Maybe... Hmm... Well, not necessarily a robot -y voice, you know. And is this a guy robot or a girl robot or like asexual robot, you know? Because there, sometimes it's like. Mm. Let's try this. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. So it's not a robot. It's a girl! Oh. 
Well, we'll pretend that was a voice modulator. Um... What do you guys want? Lowly voice? We could try the lowly voice. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Oh, wow, that's very... Mm, okay, yeah, lowly indeed. Master Specialist Sei P. Asagiri of the 70, 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Sei. What can I get for you, Sei? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although, a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink. Preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something small, sweet, and icy. Wonder if I have something so specific. Sweet. Sweet, light, fruity. Sweet, girly, happy. Sweet girly soft. Sweet girly happy. Sweet classy happy. Sweet promo happy. Small sweet icy, I don't know. Maybe one with less ingredients? I don't know. Maybe this one. This seems fine. Blue Fairy it is. One, two, three, four. One, and no. A little bit of Karma Trine. Here. Um. Oh, flip. She wanted ice. Reload. No. I expected something with ice, but this is good enough. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh! No, no, no! You're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah. Those. Sure. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um... What was that? Sorry. Sorry. It's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing citizen, uh, yeah. civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from... stuff? What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah. I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, 
I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash, water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost bleh. It was all almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No? But those are sights. And they're shocking, right? Yeah, but... Never mind. Wait. Did I mishear you? And you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating size from people after everything's said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Uh, classy. Cobalt Velvet. Bubbly Classic. Classic Burke. That's a bit much. Uh, bad Touch. We're nothing but mammals after all, that's cool. Brantini. Sweet, classy, happy. Okay, so six aldehyde. Three powdered deltas. One karma shrine. All aged mix. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something... stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm, Jill. Jill is short for... Jillian! No, that's not right. Jillian, Ju- Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please, excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap! My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel... comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> well, what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine out of, of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. It's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run in the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was w another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. 
Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible, and going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about. There are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes, rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed, blah, they speed up processes. But if you are assigned under, uh, when a company is suspected of having weird, uh, uh, blah, blah, under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. Wow. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice. Uh, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah. I could see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a... Martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's Martini. It's Brantini. Trust me. I'll get you one. She wants a Martini. Sorry, a Brantini. Is that, um... Is that because Martinis are copyrighted or something? I gave her a brand to me earlier, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, and. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks for protecting the copyright of our game. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's a, she's more into, um, classier places. N not that this place isn't nice, but, but, but... Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. Uh, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad, I just need to... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Be careful. Kyotsukete. Yeah. I will! She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. <clears throat> I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Wh where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. V Valhalla? Am I dead? I'm sorry I'm doing her voice just in this like stereotypical girly voice. But I don't really know what they're supposed to sound like and I don't have that range yet. So I'm trying. D does that mean that Uncle Ingus rambling? Blah. D does that mean that Uncle Ingus's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Wow. Okay. Called it. <laughs> afterlife. I'm not dead. As far as I can tell. Nope. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Oh, she's got an attitude. Alright. Then where the hell am I? 
How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists, the whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? Listen, lady, you got some... some things you might want to work out. Those fantasies don't belong in this game, right? All while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Yeah, this is... She, she's got those kinds of vibes, you know what I mean? Oh my god, her eyes, her eyes, her eyes, her eyes, her eyes, her eyes. What's going on? Am I gonna say murder, um, however many times? No. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or throw, or to throw out her face. The music kind of, like, synced up with this moment perfectly. Think carefully, Jill. Give her something that will calm her down. A fedora with perfume and a plum. What? I don't know. Give her a suplex. Sunshine Cloud. Okay. A little bit of Karma Trine. Oh, heck. Blended. One, two. Blended is just faster, isn't it? Okay. So, one, two. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. A uh, bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? G God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay in tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC LOVES to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Sorry. Is that the noise? Yeah. And even if you say that... Let's do something. You go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. And damage? A hole in the street. Didn't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? Oh. <clears throat> What about- OH MY GOD! HOW? WHY? HOW? Well, HOW? I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. So she's- she does come off as, like, timid, so I, I think I'm doing her right. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. Says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. 
Good point. But first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed, uh, it is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You could just ignore the drink, go through the, that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Jesus. Uh, eh? And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? N no, I... Well, I'll let you know that I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter! Precious. Um... Not sure you should drink it all so fast. So how was it? Oof. <clears throat> Too strong. Do you think this would calm me down? Um, I only put two karma trying in it. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were sleeping, uh, and you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. And I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Considered an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you? Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now? Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. You don't see women asking for a piano man too often, I see. Just a regular piano man then. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What? What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors that said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm just an- I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Oh, so we're going there. Wow. My laptop's about to die, so give me a sec to see if I can remedy that. There are no open outlets, like, anywhere nearby.
I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. I get the feeling she might have a lower register of voice, but I just, I don't know. So, you believe me? I do. I do? I do. I do. I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. I'm lowering her voice just a bit. <clears throat> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts! Ah! Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ah! Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? N no. Don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the, the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person, not with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Eh. Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh, no, I shouldn't pester her this that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. She wants a brand. Oh, sorry, a mark. Ah, a brandini. Yeah, that. <laughs> Cute. Here. Yep. This seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill, was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kinda happened. One thing led to another, and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. 
Oh! Childish dreams. Yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So... No dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So, I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who was he? A, a ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that! Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some, taking a liking, uh, some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye! Thank you, and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left, uh, and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling- Do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll call- I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. So I did make a mistake. Flawless service bonus. Not granted. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800 by then. Jill is lost in, the th in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse danger slash you slash... Okay. That's more like the user danger, right? Less than... You can now visit JC Elliott's. Weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. So, let's see these settings. Can I... There's no way to automate the dialogue. Hold to unlock. What's this? Dangerous Opinions. Okay. Miki Concert 2? Let's talk about Alice. Rabbit. Okay, Miki. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know! And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch her signals. Hmm, you say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right! That's gonna be difficult. Now you have to be directed to the point. I'm afraid that's going to be the case here. N not that I'm actually in love. Stop! I'm gonna marry Miki! Stop being such an attention whore. We're here for Miki. Come on, Anon, we don't be- Don't be mean, we just want to help a fellow Miki sister. Y you don't have to fight because of me. It was my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her. Everyone else- here wants to help you. I'm, I'm a guy. Now who's the attention whore again? This thread is closed. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. So what it says, what it says on the tin. So what's, what's the news on them? Hmm, drawing a blank right now. 
We haven't heard of Alice in a while. Now that I think of it, you think they're planning something? There's this constant rumor I hear about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as is. Lol, we're gonna be attacked and it will be funny to see those white knight fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. She normally leaves a funny message, ASC2 drawing, in a, happy, in a message something like, Happy not birthday. Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell? Alice was the one who leaked all the internal White Knight memos. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try with your baits. This story's just closed. Miku concert. So this is like a Miku thing, right? Okay, so let's limit all the concert th conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going... It's my boyfriend. Boyfriend. Why would you lie on the internet? Boyfriend. Haha, <laughs> oh wow. Fucking normies, get out! That is so cute, Anon. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on a, her best friend? Y yes. So you're finally going to confess. Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. But I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Miki shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You will understand once you are there with her. Miki concerts are some magical shit. Interesting. Here's the augmented eye. Oh, I don't think I read the news the first time around. Mid-air? That sounds a bit too fast. Are, have they been having a conversation on the right? I'll have to check that in the video. Local woman, local hero. By Lana Smithy. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local warm woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis... Oh, snap! Did Dana stop Kim from committing suicide? The incident occurred at the Artemis Wheel Mall, where someone noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by the pedestrians, but the person jumped off without, it, without notice. A mysterious rescuer. Just when the... When the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Mid-air, so that's what they're talking about. 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. The shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. It's not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. And with a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks! It sucks so much, I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh, can't even finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone, but I have to puke. Learn. I hope it's, uh, it's put out of sale. That's a bit much. Those purple numbers. I think Alice Rabbit might be a dog. Don't trust this dog. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancement, they're capable of learning it at near human speed. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses a brainless program? It makes a lot of sense. Well, maybe. Um, you know, you could probably translate this from binary if you and then it's she's focusing on the purple numbers so I don't know I'm gonna save here how are we doing on time 332 uh, got another hour and a half of gameplay to go through it's a lot of talking and I mean, I kind of knew that, but this is also my first time doing a, a, any kind of LP or stream or anything where I'm actually talking that much. What's at the shop? Oh, I can get a Maneki Neko. Wow, it's broken. Kira Miki poster, so it's got stars on it. From the cult classic video game Y2K, his beard grows in real time. So Y2K is an actual, um, Kickstarted RPG. Is it out yet? I think it's out, right? I wonder if the like the devs from this game were are they the same devs? 
I don't know. None of the ID snatchers. Celebrate the bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. Wow. PC 9X, Vintage Gaming. Experience all the cumbersome load times as they were meant to be. That's cute. In memory of a real potted plant. How is this dirt cheap? So I was thinking about this with the download code for Meet the Staff Scribbled. I wonder if in the future we'll be so smart or capable that we can start writing our own barcodes. Wouldn't that be so interesting? Like you can like like you can learn how to write codes and then like people could like scan that actual code. That that seems like a cool skill. Maybe it's not that useful. Maybe like in the future we'll have things where we can just like instantly like basically like etch pictures from like whatever device we have at the time like right onto any material, like um, like a laser type thing. But I just think that's neat. Um, so I guess we just go to work because I'm, oh wait, well, mm, I have enough money for the thing. So I could buy the potted plant now. Maybe I'll just do that. Okay, so I bought the potted plant, or the hollow plant. Why did, I, why did I call it a potted plant? I just needed to have at least 800 in my account, right? So... It's there now. Let's uh, go to work. Wednesday, December 14th. That music sounds kind of like the special stage theme for Sonic, maybe Sonic 2. Evening. Hey, chill. Ah! That's a sound you don't hear every day. B boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where you where it came from. The White Knight came yesterday, she left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count- wait. Do you regularly put put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Which explains why you probably saved that girl. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and and, and really cool. Really, really cool. <clears throat> Hello. Maybe they are British. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was- Wah! Don't run! You have work to do! I'M NOT GOING BACK TO HONG KONG! What? Hong Kong? Ch chief Oh, it's the helmet. He's got some interesting things. So sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Let's. I don't know.
That feels right, right? I don't know how many songs we got through last time. Time to mix drinks and change lives. This is a, a, a pretty hard start. <laughs> oh boy, how did I do his voice again? Uh, <laughs> hey Brad, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. That's not right. <laughs> Damn it. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual, gee, I wonder what he means. I see, this is one of those games where if you forget some stuff, you're in doo-doo. What did I forget? One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. It's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing a con at a concert later tonight. It's Miki. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And I, like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the department of Lilum sex appeal, I tell ya. She was a Lilum then? Yeah. One of them new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself, see. There you go. Hmm? Hey you! That guy with a John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no. I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? <clears throat> I, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some kind of anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So, I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors with those damn riots when those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, do they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation, like that you're doomed, says the black guy. Right. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor, and the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was, still, was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's, a b it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. Where did, when does this take place? 
in the year 19x or something, 19 or something. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Eh, scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. I want to hear your Chinese, bro. Like, my Chinese is pretty bad, so... Why do I feel like you suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait. When you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerin? Canta what? Sorry. Tangerin? Canta what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were the only you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Alright, sure. Right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <clears throat> sure, on it. What's a Mars Blast, and does he want it big? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. Wait, no. I'm gonna give him the regular size first. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four. One, two. Blended. Here. Alright, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's a cert. So there's certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Ah, oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff? How they feel like they have more power than you do and all that? Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in... what? Let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. The, excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in everything. Anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch you something... Catch something you said out of context. Wow, relevant. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in a... We were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. That certainly is a lot of out of context explaining you gotta do, sir. God! I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damned namesake. Pfft, um. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of a rosy perfume of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke, they're always out for blood. You can't win. You'll always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. 
They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure. Let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kinda... Damn. Look at that time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert, concert is enough of a problem already. So this isn't Miku? Or Miki, whatever. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? So Kim ditched? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something better to wake me up. Sure. With some alcohol, maybe? A gut punch sounds right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. One. Wait, no. Okay. And how about all age nimics? Here you go. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid, Joel, Gene, Guillermo, Hirohito, I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know, I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. What if it's your dad? Did. Ah, stutter. Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that mean... He'd be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column, it's shit anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you, please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um... Tiring. Hey Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> Is that good? I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah, 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 very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type White Knight helmet is not precisely, precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper- well, what? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Somebody kill me, that's terrible. I don't know how to do this laugh. But it's the way that they- look at this- Ha! Ha 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 Shit, D don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? 
She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Wow. That's some... Um, that's belief. That's faith. Yeah. Let's hope you're right. Hey, honey! Can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh. Hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, then! She didn't see you? Oh! I get it now! They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those Pixar videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other material take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the color of clothes, well, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you went through? Oh, what you want though. Sorry. If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie sur surroundings colored blob. And we Lilum see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that talk- uh, now what was that about talking to yourself again? N nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. go, one piano woman. Thanks! I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good! That's nice. Okay, then. Okay, okay then. How's this for a bonus payment? Oh. The ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad I was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there really isn't there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know. Hmm? Hmm? Sorry. If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence and I'll make you truly become... Make... Oh, blah. Finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine! Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh! Hey, John! Ah, uh, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was... Dealing with some stuff over the weekend. 
on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Bill's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know? Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh, yeah. Randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know? Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not... Kinky weird? The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Ah, it's that other dude, Ingram. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m. and... At 11 a.m., dress as requested and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Pat, seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of per people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody, I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. So, that's pretty sad. We know that about, about him now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two. On the rocks, blended. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. Tastes like a bit of a sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder how you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of Factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. And you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade. Once a DFC 72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it. Some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time, it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So, if I stop looking underaged, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Here's this guy that looks kind of like that dude from... 
what's his name? From Mortal Kombat, you know, the, the one with the accent. So I'm gonna do that accent to the best <clears throat> I can do. Good evening, Gil. Jill and Gillian. Uh, welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her jewels. Oh, is their name pronounced the same way? Jill and Jill? Ah, so it's Jillian, Jill, Jules. Wow, okay, that's hard. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. So, that's not... Can I do this? Oh boy, how do I do this? Uh, sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. I can't, what, what is this accent? He sounds, he's got like a kind of Aussie accent in my head. So I'm like, what does an Aussie sound like? Am I being offensive when I do that? Ah, uh, oh, whatever. I'm not gonna overthink it. Let me just try this. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. Gonna get you smashed. And then I uh, do a get you smashed too. Aged and mixed. You're in here? Oh, it serves both. Okay, cool. Thank you! All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something? Ah. Uh, Private. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines in the other person after... well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <clears throat> Yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the uh, attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. 
I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so, so much that if any tracking nano machines were still being released, I'd have to command their tenacity to be honest. Oh, sorry. I'd have to commend their tenacity to be honest. There's also this urban myth that these nano machines, that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I meant. What I mean? Sorry. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... GIL! I NEED YOUR GIRLY HANDS FOR A SECOND HERE! That's... bad. That was... I don't even know what that was. <laughs> COMING! Sorry, can you take care of him for, while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry, sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when... I need to correct in my head, it's Jill. When Jill's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Here. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Oh my god, what is... okay. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to war. A war. Alexa, stop! Sorry about that. I hope that doesn't become a problem. Disturbing, dare I say. I hear weird noises sometimes and I get really worried because I'm like, I live in an apartment building and like there are some noises you just don't expect to hear, you know? <clears throat> Not to an official one at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said... Hmm... You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg. Cyborg wrestler that I'd gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn. I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. 
Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take a break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break! All right! Characters in this game are cool. I just, like, I don't know. I would like to do more visual novel-based games in the future. Because, not that it's low effort, because clearly my voice is getting a wor real workout here that I'm not used to. Probably should drink more water. Um, but because I like stories. I like story-based games, and RPGs are a little too slow for some streams. At least, I think so. But this is cool. How are we doing on time? We got another 45 or so minutes. So, let's, uh, let's get back to it, shall we? Oh, right. It's now safe to keep playing. I think that's a really cool sign. Boss should clean the chicken buckets and uh, she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. So, how am I gonna clear this? Do, 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 do. Um. I think that's all right. You could take a couple minutes more, you know? I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. R right. A new voice, don't know what they look like, so... Yes! It's open! Great! Welcome to Valhalla! Uh, how do I do this one? Good evening! Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice! Nice! What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get for you. Oh, uh, what I can get you. Uh, so if I type girly and we'll just look for something bitter. Sweet, girly, happy. Uh, heck. Sweet, girly, happy. Sweet, girly, soft. Sweet, girly, soft. Bitter, girly, soft. That's the one. All right, okay. One, two, one, two, and I want to get this girl kind of drunk, so let's, like, okay, wait, 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 don't take me out of context there, it's just, I, she needs to get a nice buzz going, that's what I meant. Just, aha, on the rocks and blended. Good gravy. Oh. And here's the sun cloud. Try this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Mickey. Wow. Okay, so I totally did her voice wrong from the get-go. She's an idol, so I gotta... So, so, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, and you say Miki, okay? 
Okay. Kira! M Miki. No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira! M Miki? Almost there! Kira! Miki. Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! That's it! Are you feeling it? Kira! Miki! Oh my god. This is cute. But I'm af afraid I'm blowing up the mic a little. Kira! Miki! Kira! Oh my god, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm so weird. Alright. Kira! Miki! Somebody stop me. And don't you ever forget it! What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you! It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait. You're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight! Oh, Kira Miki is a Lilum, and she's the one that got interviewed by Dawson, okay. I'm one Lilum who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer's always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit... dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I... I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So, we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Really underwhelming. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over a hundred thousand is not many, then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it! Let's start from the top! I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything... Soft? Soft, as in alcohol-free? No, I mean soft, as in soft. Soft? Uh, l let's see what I can get you. No, <laughs> a fedora. This says soft. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three. All aged and mixed. Here you go. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Huh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and li lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not?
Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Jill would like it though. Your name, girl! Oh, for Jill then. For Jill, never lose your star, from Kiramiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks! No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's many- and then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get to when you get used to them. I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. <laughs> no, wait. It isn't! <laughs> yeah, you get me, Jill! Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate... Oh my god, something's burning. Give me one second. Um, so, you know, I thought it would be okay to leave the, the fire on like a low, like, like below low, but it's been like two hours and that's a lot of gas and I'm probably going to get billed for that later, maybe. Um, anyway, my curry is not, not going to have any more like anything. Oh, that's that's unfortunate, but uh, at least it wasn't too much. But my girlfriend's gonna be really mad about that. Um, oh boy, I, whoo, yeah, real, real, real smooth. It's okay. That's that's my cross to bear. I'm just gonna back to stream, shall we? Oh boy. The sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be desperate if they- oh, sorry. I'd be depressed if they asked for Your Love is a Drug as an encore, though. This sounds a lot like Kesha, but okay. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I could find for you. Can't I give her the same thing? Burning? I 
I see. So that's all right. I'm gonna give her another one of these because it's. And no alcohol. Try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice! Thanks! I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Hiramiki, I was a very accom accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-time in bars with a jazz band. Did she beat up the, the girl's dad? I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have, her, have you ever thought about the pa power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. So I beat up this guy. <laughs> Being in a jazz band or per performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music, and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. That's real. I feel that. Oh, and I really like this song. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any of it at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it! Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but honest, I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright! You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. Your, huh? That's what they called me during my, my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way, I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah. I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Jill's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care! Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I got that flawless service bonus. That's what I was shooting for. And the boss was nice. Grab a snack on the way home. It's on me. Significantly different kind of situation compared to, uh, I don't know, Papers, Please? This isn't Papers, Please. Not even a little bit. There's way less tension. And that's nice. Did that idol really show up? Or is she like the ghost? Hey. Let's go to- oh, wait. That's not what I meant to do. Damn it. Can I- No! I screwed up! Ah! Oh, damn it. 
Okay. I will just continue as normal and I'll save, but I'll go back to read the other stuff in a, in, in a later stream. Damn it! Ah! My brain just turned off. It's the smell of all the smoke, you know? Evening. Wait, can I just... Can I just... Is there... No, I can't even save here. God. Oh, hi there. I was expecting the bar to be... different from opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Jillian. Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. How many times have I started with this song? Jeez. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. Glass with a signature. To j j um, I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Miki girl came here yesterday before her concert, actually. Oh, yeah. Now I see her, her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B Link more, actually. The stoic lo looking duo, right? Yep, those. <sighs> Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know? Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Oh, that's cute. I really like that. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true! Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Well, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You! Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Pfft, okay, sure. Fuck. I just can't ask what the order was. I'd look unprofessional. She said bad touch, right? Here you go! Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer! 
LARP. Live action role playing. Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What did he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with, at all. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lack of la Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationship for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Oh. But Fuckboy? People have different needs and, didn't, and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught- Oh, I'll have you know that my uncle taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking, or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still. Get me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. This feels like a mistake. I'm gonna do it. This is weird. Here you go. Nope, this looks pretty common to me. I'll take it anyways, but no tip for this one. What was common about that? You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on this whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something pretty stupid. I added that, but you know. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. I can't remember what they used to call themselves, I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. Uh, the whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So, you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So... Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or con the consequences. Imagine if, suddenly, a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that, there's more. A more pressing matter at hand. 
There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out some time for too long. Oh. That. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. Sorry. <clears throat> I refuse. I gotta strike a JoJo pose, right? <laughs> In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date, I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm... not a morning person? I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10am, you know? That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You... are... hopeless. Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big brand teeny. Finally, there's the Alma I know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two... Here. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile... Vermouth? Vermouth that was named after a certain automobile... Uh, automobile company. God. So on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. You know, I was wondering, yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's beside the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs, it's not like every day is a thrill. Do you meet with your client, or...? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters for security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... <sighs> they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something. Give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines that have made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya! Take care. Hello, sugar. Ow. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like, uh, I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. Bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the ones serving your drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience, I'm just not part of it. 
It's real. <laughs> Today, I'm making this a quick one. Gotta attend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. The usual. Sure, this'll work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed y yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So, I was working to, a, to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get in the right pe when you get the right people drunk. Hmm? Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Huh, oh yeah? That big titted little Lilum was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? Nope. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bony or anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill it means? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey kid, do you think Lilim have nipples? Hey, excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilum chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on a Lilum look good? A bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough. Man, God bless those sons of bitches. Hmm. <clears throat> Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect to sh me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. For the record, I used to think Harbinger was pronounced Harbinger. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece, and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent a message to some outlet saying they have proof of their claims that they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh. That'd be interesting to see, I think. Maybe it was mentioned in the news, but I didn't read it, because I'm a ding-dong. Whoopsies. I know, right? All right, kid. Give me a bleeding chain so I can call it a day. Okay. So it's basically a Bloody Mary. That's the translation. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So, I've heard this is Dana Zane, Dana Zane's bar. Is it true? Yeah. I never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some air... bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears, she beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? 
Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. That sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna save in a different slot so I can revisit what happened last time and I'll make a note of it. But uh, we're coming up on the end of the stream basically, so I'm gonna spend the last few minutes just like talking about what's what's to come. Um, but this has been a good experience. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad that everyone tuned in that did, and I'm, sh I'm sorry that you're coming in at the, at the end of the stream, basically. But, uh, you know, thanks for showing up anyway. Um, so next stream, it will be on Tuesday, and then Wednesday after that, and then maybe I was thinking about changing my schedule around. I might spend more Fridays recording um, YouTube content instead. Uh, you know, I still have to catch up on the the post credits uh, Kingdom Hearts content that I was working on. So that's unfortunate, but it's what it is. Um, and yeah, I would really like some notes on how the voice acting <laughs> was going. Obviously, it's, you know, just serviceable, if you could even call it that. And I know I probably blew up the mic a, a couple times, unfortunately. But, um, I'm working on it, you know? I'm working on it. Uh, and yeah, I, uh, I'm really digging this game. Um, I really like the soundtrack a lot, obviously. And... I don't know. I'm engaged. I'm memorizing people's orders and stuff. That's neat. I'm definitely having a better time of it because it's more casual than Papers, Please, which is the only comparative thing that I can... There's plenty of games that might have you do a sim function like this, but none of them give me like this kind of vibe where it's just like the story. Um, so yeah. Uh, this was the Pretty Boy Stream. I'm Bishido. Stay pretty, y'all. Bye.